Hello fellow survivors, this is your buddy RV Guy back again with another little quick video. And today guys, um, I want to talk about two products that helped me out during the COVID pandemic. You see, back in 2020, when the pandemic hit, I caught it in March. And I had it for about a month and a half. And it hit me real bad. Um, it also hit some friends of mine. I know people who die from it. They say more people die from the flu, but... I don't know anybody who's died from the flu. I can name five people right now that I know, close friends of mine who died of COVID. Um, it, like I said, it hit me bad. It came in waves from nausea to headaches, um, aches and pains, couldn't sleep, didn't have an appetite, couldn't smell anything for a while, um, trouble breathing, all this stuff for a month and a half. Um, and just being weak, not wanting to get out of bed, or not being able to get out of bed most of the time. And through all of this, there was two products that I used that I believe helped me out a lot. And these products are from Stanley, the makers of all the camping equipment. These two products helped me out and made, made things more convenient, um, made me able to stay healthy, and I believe they helped me fight the pandemic. So today, guys, I want to show you what those two products are and why I think they're so valuable and why I think that maybe you should consider getting them for the same reason. Because COVID showed us that anything can happen. So that's what we're going to talk about today on the Extreme Dream Survival Channel. Okay guys, I'm back and the, um, the two products that I believe helped me through COVID are the Stanley two quart thermos, the big one, and the um, Stanley Camp Croc. Now, why I say these two products helped me through COVID and why I'm so thankful that I had them is because COVID knocked me off my feet and I was weak. I couldn't get up. There was times that I had energy that I would try to scramble something to eat. Most of the times, the aches and the pains, the headaches, the nausea, the diarrhea, the fever would just all uh, hit me all at one time, and it would come in waves. But with these two items, what I was able to do was, well, number one, let's move this out of the way for a moment. Let's concentrate on the thermos. I knew I had to drink a lot of teas, guys. Um, I drank a lot of green tea with lemon. Um, but a lot of times I didn't have the energy to get up to make the tea. But when I did, what I would do is I'd make a whole two quarts full of tea and put a lot of lemon inside, okay? Green tea with lemon. And if this is done correctly, um, you'd have tea. I'd have tea for like two, three days. Bedside tea next to my nightstand that I could drink. And that citrus from the lemon is something that I believe helped knock the COVID out of my system. See, what I would do is I'd cut up a lot of lemons, like two or three lemons, put inside here with three or four green tea bags and hot water, and I would have tea for almost three days. And it would stay hot. You see, this is a two-quart thermos. And um, if you do it the right way, which is you have to prime it first. You have to open it up, take off the top, Okay, fill it up with boiling hot water, close it back up, let it sit for 10, 15 minutes or so, open it back up, pour all the hot water out, so now the inside of the thermos, okay, it's, it's primed, it's ready, it's hot, see if you just put your tea in there, your hot tea, inside of a cold thermos, a lot of the coldness is going to absorb the heat, so it's not going to stay as hot for as long. Once you prime it and it's ready to go, you'll have about two or three days out of this, guys, which is excellent. And it is two quarts. This is the big boy. So I had a lot of tea, and I would sit by my bed, and I would drink the tea. And I would drink all that citrus, and I didn't have to, when I didn't have the energy to get up, I could just reach over, pour the tea into the little thing it came in, drank, 
And I believe this really helped me beat the COVID, guys. I believe this really helped me fight the pandemic. Um, like I said, this is the big boy. It'll keep your stuff hot for three days. And this helped me out. I have to I have to say thank you to Stanley because this really helped me out. Okay? That's number one. Number two, the crock pot is the same idea as the um thermos. Just on a food type of scale. Now it works the same way. It has these latches that you unlatch. Okay, instead of screwing off, you unlatch. It's airtight, it's watertight, which means your food is going to stay safe once you cook it. It's not going to spoil, it's not going to go bad. It's going to stay hot. Okay, there's the inside. It's a very big, big size uh, crock. And what I would do is, when I did have the energy and I found that I could get up, I'd make chilies, stews, soup, gumbo, whatever I could keep in here. And you do the same thing, you fill it with hot water, prime it, get it ready, put the lid on it, let it sit for 15 minutes, pour the hot water out, put your finished product in there, steam it hot. Close it, okay, snap on the lids, um, the little snaps, snap them down, it has a seal around it, and it keeps it airtight, and it keeps it, uh, it'll keep your food hot. Now, this will keep your food hot for um, 12 hours guys and it'll keep stuff cold for 16 hours so 12 hours of hot food that's a whole day and I didn't have to worry about if I was too weak getting up and um, cooking because I already had my food I had my soup, I had my chili, I had my stew and even though COVID took your appetite you had to eat and you had to eat healthy guys You you not the McDonald's or the Chinese food or the Burger King and it's the healthy food uh, with vegetables in it, vitamins and minerals and and this helped me out because I had my food and I had my drink. Okay, I had my tea and I had my food. Um, these two items are definitely worth it just for the fact that you can keep food in there for so long. Alright? Like I said, if it's done right, priming it first with hot water you're able to have food and drink for about two days and that'll help you if you're sick in bed not only that let's let's say you're not sick let's say you're camping two great items to have right you can get up early make a bunch of food make whatever you want put it in here seal it up make your coffee your tea for the day and you've got food to last all day long or from a survival standpoint um you kill an animal Right? You're out there surviving in the wilderness, shit hits the fan, you gotta go into the woods, you kill an animal, you kill uh, a small rabbit, when you, you you make some type of rabbit stew or something. Prime it, put the boiling water inside of it, put it inside, cut the rabbit up, for whatever else you have to go with it, some potatoes, carrots, or whatever, put it in there, put this in the bottom of your bag, and you've got food to last you a couple of days. Alright? Because you already cooked it. It's not going to go bad. It's airtight. It's sealed. Maybe two or three days of food right here. All right. Same thing with the tea. Make you some tea. You can get tea bags anywhere. Stock up on tea bags. Um, make herbal tea. Make tea out of leaves. Make any type of tea you can. Put it with the water. Put your little sugar, your honey, or whatever, how you like it. And you're good to go. But... As far as the pandemic was concerned, I can honestly say that these two items, the Stanley Cro Champ Crock and the Stanley Two Quart Thermos, helped me, and I am very thankful. I like to give a shout out to Stanley and to let them know that these are two excellent products that they have here, and I'm going to use them. I'm going to use them just to use them. <laughs> um, if I ever get sick again, I'm struck in bed. I'm going to make a whole bunch of tea. I'm going to make a whole bunch of food. I'm going to chill out and watch TV, let my body relax and get over it, knowing that I've got the vitamin and the nutrients and the food I need to fight the disease. Okay? Something to think about when the shit hits the fan. This has been your buddy Arby Guy. Until next time. Peace.